Next, we will approve our agenda for the evening. After much deliberation and a 6-2 vote, Minneapolis school board leaders approved a two-phase plan, bringing K-5 through students back into the classroom, while also giving parents the option to keep their students in distance learning. I believe that families ought to have these options for their children. Other children need more attention, particularly those who aren't checking in online and those with IEPs, our special education, our students receiving special education services. Starting February 1st, teachers will return with students coming back on the 8th. Middle and high school students will remain in distance learning to reduce the number of people in buildings at one time. From the very beginning, we've had to decide how to best balance academic and health risks. And no matter what we do, we're giving something up. While some public school leaders across the state are grappling with whether or not to return to the classroom, many private school systems have been in class for months now. Some teachers say with great success, taking extra precautions like daily symptom screenings and requiring masks. At the end of the day, I believe the local school board should follow the guidance offered by the state and public health officials all of whom want us to open. Minneapolis school leaders say they plan to work hand in hand with health officials, making the safety of both students and staff a priority. This has been a really difficult year, full of uncertainty and risk, and there have not been any, e any easy decisions at any point. Devon Roming, CARE 11 News.